ready to shake in the light. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Lily. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my pineapple bolts. And for this recipe for mine, people have different recipes, but this is mine. I'm using the pineapples. I've already sliced. I got my multicolored peppers and onions. Um, I got my seasons over there. And then I have my, um, right here, I have my fish, my shrimp, and my steak. Those are the meats that I'm going to be using. You can use any meat you want to. If you are allergic to shrimps and you don't want to eat shrimp, you don't have to use shrimp. You can use whatever type of meat you want. So um, I have my pan on the stove searing already. I'm going to be um, cooking my meats first. Now, but first I'm going to go ahead and slice up this pineapple here. And let me tell y'all. When you slice up this pineapple, your whole baby, y'all better have a sharp knife. Because I caught H-E double hockey sticks. Slicing this pineapple in half. And I couldn't find my knife sharpener. See, look, I, I miscut it. I'm going to go ahead and let me get that piece off. Ain't no shame if I can't. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Um, go around the edges. Cutting it like that. And then you take and you slice it up like that, like so. And then I'm going to take a spoon and just dip them out like that. That is how you do it. You put them in a bowl because we're going to use some of these pineapples for the recipe. Now I'm going to finish digging these out and I will be right back. And this is how the pineapples are going to look after you clean them. So now I'm going to go ahead and season my meat with whatever you want to season it with. I'm using accent and seasoned salt. And I'm also using some garlic powder. parsley and also a little bit of paprika Get a black pepper. A little bit of black pepper. We're going to get that mixed all up together and seasoned all in. Y'all thought I was going to season this individually. <laughs> I'm tired. I ain't finna be doing all that. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my fish in the pan. I'm gonna do my fish and shrimp first. Because they don't take that long. And we'll, I should have used a large shrimp for this, but it's what I had in my fridge, and I used what I had in my fridge. I didn't feel like running to the grocery store. So I used what I had in my fridge. Okay, 
Okay, that's not going to get my spatula. Put my fish. Now, why is my fish messing up like that? Make sure you grease hard enough. I'm going to put my shrimp. Okay, so my fish and shrimp. Okay, so my fish and shrimp are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and put a steak in there. I'm not changing my grease. I usually don't like to um, put the, cook my any of my meat in fish grease, but that's what I'm gonna do today, guys. So if you wanna change your grease, that's fine. Cause I don't really like my meat in fish grease, but like I said, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my steak in there. Make sure you pat dry your meat really good after you wash it, or the grease will be popping. It'll be on and popping, y'all. Uh, if you like your steak medium rare, by all means, medium rare it is. But I like mine well done, so. I'm going to let mine cook about a good 15 minutes here on medium heat. That's what I'm cooking on. And I will be back because I'm going to, um, in about five minutes, I'm going to be dropping the peppers in there. So I'll be right like back. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop my peppers in here. Let them cook a little bit. If you don't want to cook your peppers, don't cook them. That's fine. I'm going to cook mine a little bit. A little black pepper. A little bit of red pepper. And I usually do not use size, but I don't have any size, so it is what it is. I'm going to let that cook up for about another 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop my pineapples in there. Not a lot. If you want a lot, you can have a lot. A little bit of that pineapple juice. Let that cook up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I strained the grease off. I have a little butter and garlic grease sauce I'm going to pour over in there. Let that cook for a little minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and pineapple bowl this up for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and Plate this up. I'm gonna put the rice up in here, guys. And y'all, I didn't use any butter in my rice this time, but it's okay because I got that butter sauce. Oh my God! I'm gonna go ahead and start plating this up.
Put my steak and peppers and pineapples on there first. And that good old butter sauce. Take your time, take your time. Hmm. It ain't going nowhere till after you finish making it. Some more color. My food has to have color. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fish up there. It's like bring them on to the side. And of course I'm gonna put my shrimp up there. As many as you like. Whoop. I'm just going to pile them up there. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of my steak, put up there. A little bit more color. I have to have my color. I like colorful food. I'm gonna drop a little bit of chives up there. Not a lot. Finish that off with a little bit of um, parsley. Little bit of red pepper flakes. I like the little bit of spicy that it gives. Just a tad of that sauce. Now to taste this, guys. You know, a little shrimp on there. Oh my God. Yo. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Let me show y'all something. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all don't try these pineapple boat. Y'all ain't gonna never know what y'all missing. Mm. Until next time. Guys, have a good one. Follow up. I do a picture. Another picture.